period. Hello. Hello. Hey folks, uh, we'll give it a couple minutes and then we can um, get started here. Let's feel free to put your uh, stuff in, in uh, your details or in the uh, attendance. All right, we can probably get started. Um, Brendan Lum uh, is out sick, so uh, it'll just be me running it today. So um, just as a reminder, um, this meeting is uh, being recorded, um, not being streamed right now, because I don't know if I, they gave me access to click the stream button to stream to YouTube button. But uh, it is being recorded and will be uploaded to YouTube uh, shortly after the end of this meeting. Um, and uh, uh, also, this meeting um, falls under the CNCF and uh, uh, security tags uh, code of conduct. All right, cool. So, um, just as a reminder, so I post, uh, so let me just repost the meeting notes again, feel free to put your stuff in there. Um, separately, uh, this was the thing that we were working on last week. Um, this will probably be what, what we're, we're just sort of finishing up uh, this time, just to kind of go through some of it. Um, that was the survey. All right, uh, cool. So before getting started with any of that, um, does anybody have any updates, uh, any other things that they wanted to uh, bring up? Okay, okay. No problem. Um, why? There we go. Um, so yeah, uh, what else was I gonna say? So um, 
the the main thing um, just to kind of go over again the the uh, proposals. So we have a couple of different proposals that we've been uh, going through. Uh, there is the S bomb one, and let me see if I can bring that up. Right. So that's issue 895. Um, is there any update on that part? Uh, Parth, if you're talking. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. Yep. Um, no, not yet. Um, I think last, last time the focus was on the survey. So I think there was an action item for the survey that Yep. That, uh, I think that'll create an intro for which I still have to do. So I'll get to that. And I think there needs to be more discussion on, on exactly how do we want to get started on the S bomb things. So I think after the yep. survey gets out, I think we can talk more about that and get started on that. Cool. All right. And then the same thing with. Uh... And so the best practices one, which I also posting here in the, the doc. Um, so yeah, the update from last week, uh, I know uh, got to take a bit of a look at the, the um, uh, as a reminder, this uh, best practices survey, where is this? Oh, you already have it on there. So it was uh, this document again. And so the idea was to sort of make sure that the question seemed to be in a reasonable spot, maybe ask it to a couple of um, prospective like CNCF projects and just say, hey, does this, does this seem reasonable? Um, and then sort of send it out to uh, the rest of the CNCF. Um, as, as like a, a you know like a survey monkey or whatever survey and then get um, to the rest of the CNCF projects to get that and then eventually uh, this will help us figure out you know what projects are interested in learning more about supply chain security or getting more involved in the, the process and if are there things that we can do applying the best practices applying secure software factory reference architecture things to them and, and, and so on um, is there if there's any stuff on that end uh, and then eventually, I think also another follow up from that was, I think some folks had also discussed like, would this be valuable eventually to change some of it, you know, change some of the stuff out for projects to potentially end user organizations to also put a finger on the pulse of like, hey, what end user companies, organizations, et cetera, are concerned about supply chain security, which ones don't seem to care and, and why. And so that we can have a better understanding of like, hey, as we start to educate, build tools in the CNCF and so on, like what, what sorts of things do we need to do? Um, cool. Uh, so the doc is, uh, I posted the doc here. I don't know is if there's any, um, does anybody have any questions? Uh, questions about anything so far? Um, okay. So let me share my screen. We can just go over this one more time. Uh, okay, time to look through all of my windows here and figure out which one is the one that. Um, this one. All right. So um, I had done a first pass. This is, I think, what we have, right? And we've kind of done some reasonable stuff here of, you know, um, uh, you know, the, there's some multiple choices. There's some, um, uh, uh, 
yes or no. And there's a couple of ones that I think are a little bit more open-ended, but one to kind of, you know, ask folks based on what we have. And so this is actually just, just hold on here. This is, I want to. There we go. Okay, so there's 10 um, uh, questions here uh, based on, on the feedback from last time. Um, you know, what do you, you know, what do you consider to be uh, uh, supply chain security? Um, Actually, do folks just want to read through this uh, again and just see if there's anything that they want to highlight as as um, something worth discussing? Because I've already gone over it, and and this is kind of I think a reasonable at least first draft. But wanted to get other folks' thoughts, see what else is missing. I think there was one from yesterday, uh, from last week, I should say, from, from Jeremy about. Um, uh, yeah, I saw your reply. Uh, totally makes sense. Um, yeah. I replied with, with a thumbs up. Yeah. Does, does that make sense to folks? Like, so there's build pipeline policy tools. And um, uh, So, so in this case, it's which maybe still makes sense here. Um, well, actually, I guess yeah, probably build pipeline policy tools. And I don't know if we want to just sort of say, you know, and would signing tools be in this category as well? Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, and I think, yeah, I think we might have inadvertently sort of conflated provenance generation in there, but I think those two things are going to be um, inevitably uh, separate. Yeah, and at least in people's minds, so. Yeah, and I do want to, uh, since this one is specifically a little um, confusing because it's like I, a lot of folks are probably not running emission control for what is allowed to run in the pipeline uh, itself, a uh, pipeline environment or built environment. Let me just do that. Yeah, I apologize. This kind of came up last time off of a brain fart for me. If, if we want, to, if this is getting too far into the weeds for this survey, we could remove this. I mean, I, I don't. I'm not attached to what I started here. No, no, no. Um, I actually like it because, to be clear, um, with some of the stuff that that some of the new folks are doing, they're uh, like I know, like for example, OpenS, you know, OpenSS at Fresca is using. Um, uh, which sort of works alongside Tecton is using uh, Kiverno right now as a way to sort of enforce if somebody, you know, an attacker comes in and says, hey, I'm going to spin up a, a nefarious uh, build uh, pipeline, um, a malicious build pipeline, it should get blocked through that policy and stuff like, hey, if somebody tries to push out, hey, I have a new build container, right? I have my new you know, version of code that came out and they, they, they put that in there, but let's say it's not signed by the co team. Well, wait a second, or it's not signed by whoever, you know, trusts it, it would then get blocked. Uh, hold on one second. Sorry about that. I had to break up a cat fight. <laughs> uh. um, but yeah, that's I think kind of, I, and I and I think it's worthwhile. Um, I still think it's worth 
worthwhile there. I just think we might need to just uh, highlight what that that means because it seems to be you know not not a lot of folks are doing that right now, um, yeah, and in fact, a lot of things was, don't support it. That was my thought for talking right now. Is that is this so niche that we should just put it under the any other type category and let them fill that in, or is it worth calling out as a actual bullet? Um, so we could probably even put down here, you know, uh, for uh, initial set of um, uh, what do we want to call it? I don't want to say guinea pigs for our survey, but uh, for initial set of survey takers, does it make sense to remove this question? And... Yeah, you have that B, right? CICT tools. So maybe put it a, a C and H in like a B, sorry. B uh, is the same, right? How is B different? <sighs> well, I think B was more just purely um, like what CI system, like Jenkins, yada, yada, are you using, right? Because like a, even like a lot of the vulnerability scanning tools are probably stuff that runs in CI and the build pipeline, or um, even just do CI, CD pipeline policy tools, right? Where this is the thing that actually manages what is allowed to run in the CI and CD pipeline. Um, this is this H is more of a question of how are you enforcing your policy? Yeah. Or or monitoring deviation. Yeah. And do we also have the we did include the the other stuff regarding just like a general description. Oh yeah, okay. Cool. Just making sure that eight was there. Yeah. Since we're already, um, since we're already calling out uh, the in the other question, CI CD tools, we can kind of, we can probably remove that. Um, but yeah, no, I, I still think it's 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 valuable at least for this initial thing. And you know, if we send this out to a couple of CNCF projects, and all of them sort of come back and say this doesn't make sense, and then we could swap it out with other. Um, but I, I personally think it's actually pretty valuable. I would say we tentatively leave it. If the survey gets too long, we can revisit that. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, um, yeah, it makes sense. And once again, like, I think this is going to initially go out to like a handful of, you know, CNCF and maybe like other open source projects and just kind of ask, um, does it make sense? Uh, you know, is there anything that you would change? Are there any questions that weren't clear? That kind of thing. And then, Based on their feedback, we'll do one more iteration and then send it out to the um, the the rest of the community. just me or did we lose michael oh no i'm i'm, I'm here sorry <laughs> i've just muted uh, my mac has been crashing daily so i'm i'm 
always wondering if it's just me. <laughs> But uh, yeah, no, that was uh, about it from my end. Um, on a separate note, uh, so, so does everybody think this seems like a reasonable spot for the, the survey and then we can kind of bring it up uh, to a handful of, of initial projects and then kind of go on from there? Yeah, cool. Um, so that was the end of the, the, the main agenda there. Um, the only other updates just for folks to just be aware of is so Salsa, um, which is part of the OpenSSF, but it's stuff that we are hooking into um, uh, pretty heavily uh, is gonna be start pushing to try and get to 1.0 um, in the next few months. And so once again, like the right now, the specification is is pre 1.0, meaning that the specification specification might change and, and that kind of thing. Uh, uh, the other stuff was. Um, so with that salsa stuff, so just be aware, you know, that that's coming through. Um, we're going to actually today, um, so in about a half hour or a little over a half hour at, or yeah, it's a, the meeting's at 12, right? <laughs> Let me just make sure. Um, yes. Yeah. So in a, in about a, a little over a half hour, um, there'll be some discussion about, uh, how we, about splitting up into work streams. So there's gonna be stuff specifically on stuff like initial tooling that really sort of is demonstrative examples of Salsa. Um, there's going to be things like the 1.0 requirements. And so I know for this group, um, that's probably gonna be pretty you know, interesting for, for people because we're trying to, to really sort of um, narrow the focus and bring some stuff in because of, uh, it's very easy to just uh, you know, there's the two extremes. There's the one extreme of being so narrow that it's useless. And then there's the other extreme of taking in everything in the kitchen sink. And now it's like, we're not just a, um, you know, a supply chain uh, framework. We're a general security framework for all things security, right? Because, um, you know, we could, you could go down that, that, that rabbit hole or turtle hole and, 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 and keep going and saying, hey, like, well, we can't say that you're really your build is secure until you are running builds in the in a trusted enclave, right? Or trusted execution environment. That's probably not reasonable for us to at least come out right out of the gate. But there's probably things from a a a, a basic uh, thing on that front. There's also so right now most likely be focused on the provenance piece. There's also some interesting discussion about uh, eventually how we will be certifying. Uh, or how people should at least address certifying something to be salsa certif you know, to be salsa compliant, and that works both for like your build system or your pipeline, right? So that would be something like uh, you know GitHub, GitLab, um, Fresca, you know Tecton, that sort of thing. Like, what would it take to say this is salsa compliant at some level? And then in addition to that, there's probably also a, a layer on top which is like, is your pipeline itself that you are running on GitHub, GitLab, Fresca, Tecton, whatever, Circle CI, is that, um, is that sort of thing uh, Salsa compliant, right? Because there's going to be two separate things. One is, is it like, you know, is your build system capable of doing this thing? And then separately, is your pipeline now doing all the right things that make that up, right? Because, you know, there are some questions and concerns about, Hey, there's lots of ways today to make you know some of the salsa stuff be very easy to, you know, you're following the letter of the law, but not really the spirit of the law, right? Where where you know there's certain things today where technically a salsa attestation could be, I've signed something on a napkin, right? That's not really the in the intention. Um, and there's certain things of like, hey, there's two person code review, but how are you? how are you demonstrating that there's actually two person code review? Like, how are you recording that information? Just being, just sort of showing, hey, there's a two person thing on our GitHub is a start, 
but probably long term you want to have some cryptographic way of saying this commit was signed off by two parties or whatever which still leads to other things especially in the open source world where people can i can have a million identities if i wanted to um so there's stuff on that front that that needs to be thought of and then the the thing that as part that came out of part of this discussion is potentially to also see um salsa might want to for example take some of the stuff that we have from the secure software factory and use that as citations of hey if you are doing these things in the that are described in the secure software factory we believe these to be compliant with these requirements like a mapping exercise that kind of thing so just to kind of uh, keep you all informed of that. Um, any other questions, comments, thoughts, updates? I know Brendan, you 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 arrived a, a little uh, late, but uh, we just sort of went through and um, that survey again, just kind of did another pass, and we believe it to just sort of be ready at this point. Um, we're going to be uh, trying to set, and I'm, I need to figure out exactly how this works, but we're going to try and send it out to sort of a, you know an initial set of CNCF projects, like you know two or three get their feedback about the you know get their feedback both from the perspective of, of the answers and then also from the perspective of like do they like the questions are any of the questions confusing are there things that are not like that they would sort of replace the questions with or whatever um get some ideas from that and then do another pass in a week or two or whatever and then send it out to the the rest of the community cool yeah sorry i was conflicting meetings today it was okay. a challenge for our lives i think any updates on the s bomb stuff or is that still kind of in perma hold uh, i'll let parth go but i believe the answer is yeah yeah so it's right now it's on hold um i think we need to figure out how we want to move forward with this um i think what needs to be done and let's discuss um how we want to move forward with it yeah it's part of the challenge that there's so many people doing this and we're trying not to step on everybody else's toes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so okay. I, I try to get uh, Alan Friedman to like comment and give us feedback on this. And yeah, I was gonna jump on. He's got some stuff going next week for CISA on S bombs. So I was gonna at least try to jump on one or right. at least one of those meetings. Yeah, I, I saw that there's some some meetings going on for that, so that might be helpful. Apparently, I'm missing out on joining mailing list too, but um, my email box is bad enough as it is. Cool. Um... Any other, um, uh, we, could, we, could, we could always end it early, just, oh, whoops. Uh, we could always end it early if, if folks uh, have nothing else uh, to, to bring up or if there's something else that they wanted to bring up and say, hey, let's have a chat about this. Um, definitely um, on board here, uh, trying to secure, secure the supply chains. <laughs> Cool. Uh, if nothing else, then we can we can end it a, a half hour early. Give you give you all back a half hour of your time. Remember, uh, if you're interested in salsa salsa meeting in an hour, should be interesting because we're gonna start splitting out work streams. Cool. 
Thanks. Later. Take care.